What is going on, guys? It's Vigento. Um, we're doing something a little simple today, but something that probably will be really helpful. Um, also, I'm going to try to make more quality tutorials because my other ones, I just felt like there could be some improvement. So, but today I'm going to show you how to do this edge detect spread. Um, it's similar to Twisty. There should be an example on the screen right about now. But, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first you prepare your clips. Um, just all you need is an adjustment clip and open that infusion. So next you need a edge detect, of course. So just press shift space as the tech. And view that in the main viewer. So you can press that little dot or press the number two for those who don't know. And then um, once you get here, you adjust the edge. So change it to grayscale edges. And I recommend turning the brightness up or turning it up a little bit or however much you like it and turning up the gamma. But of course it depends on your shot, but for the sake of this shot, I think turn the gamma all the way up is good. And next is the fast noise. So you get your fast noise from your toolbar or press shift space and toolbar go to our fast noise and then I will recommend viewing it in the main viewer so you can see what you're doing so first things first I would adjust it how you like it so maybe something like this uh, with a detail and adjust the scale change the seed the rate So next is you go to the color tab and change the colors to gradient and change the gradient type to radial. And here on this point, you turn the alpha down and on this point, make it black and then turn the alpha down on that point as well. And then make a point here in the middle and make it white. I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. Uh, or maybe just make it regular so you can see. Uh, and then move your point to where you want it or where you want your glow to start. And then once you do that, you should be good. So then copy your starting values to your end values. So in this case, it would be 0.58 and copy that there. And so whatever your Y is, copy that to this Y and set your keyframes to wherever you want it or just set the end keyframe and go to the end or go to whatever point you want for your video and then you move this up move it up as much as you like so then once you do that then i will recommend adjusting it so just adjust it like that uh, just to tell you how you want it change the see the right uh, I might move this over a little bit So I might just make this uh, 0.5 Make that 0.5 And this 0.5 So uh, Something like that is cool All right And then we're gonna do next is go to settings and change the channel from alpha to luminance and as you can see it has this nice spread like that and 
for the color for anything that you want um, if you want to change the color you can change it to whatever you like or you can leave it white it's up to you um, you can do something like purple and do something like that and lastly you get a soft glow or any kind of glow that you think uh, looks good um, there's a few of them available uh, in different places and on the plug-in reactor um, I would recommend going to Peach's channel to um, see how to download that uh, link in the description but uh, next is the soft glow and you can leave it the same or change it. I'm going to leave it the same for the sake of this video. And all you do is put a merge and you connect it to the merge. And that's pretty much your effect. Of course, you can make it go faster or slower. You can also change the graph for how fast or slow it's going. So I want it to be a little faster. So something like that. I think it's a really cool effect. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to get it. But once I got it, I wanted to share it with you guys. So. And that there is pretty much your effect. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave me a like and a comment. Um, if you haven't already, follow my new photography page. I post pictures there and follow my regular Instagram too. Um, I have more content coming out, more tutorials, more videos, so stay tuned and hope you enjoyed this video.